Hey guys, I know that I promised you a workout every single day this week and I have totally not delivered and I'm really, really sorry about that. I've been having some serious issues with editing. Finally, I was able to get this up for you. This is a peak week circuit that I did and it's kind of a combo of two different circuits. So it's not the circuit that I was normally doing at the gym for peak week. I do go to the gym every day during peak week except for Friday. I do not work out on Fridays, just do my fasted cardio. But I do a little bit at home too. And so um, this day I actually did not go to the gym. So I filmed it in two parts for you, which is why I'm wearing two different clothing items or exercise exercise outfit. I can't even think right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, okay. So I started with some double pump lunges just to warm up my legs. And then peak week, you always do a total body circuit and you want to do each move for about 45 to 60 seconds. So the weight that you do is going to depend on um, that rep range. I mean that time range, not rep range. You want to be able to do a lot of reps and um, with lightweight is basically how you do peak week. You don't want to get sore because soreness is going to make you retain water. So I did some overhand rows for my back. I did some push-ups for my shoulders and my back and my biceps. And now I'm doing these, um, they're, I call, my coach calls them like rippets, um, but I do these uh, bicep kind of pulls. And I love them. They get a really, really good burn going in the biceps really quickly. You'll be so impressed with how fast it happens. And then I love to superset them with hammer curls, which is what I was doing here. So I just stood up and did 10-pound hammer curls. And I did about 20 reps of these hammer curls. Target a different area of your bicep than a normal bicep curl does. So I like to mix it up. I do a little bit of each normally every time that I do a full body workout. But um, I just showed you guys the hammer curls there. Then I'm going to do my shoulders and back with these lateral raises. I do these in three moves. Um, so I do 30 reps total. I did 10 reps for each one. So I bent over and did a bent over um, dumbbell raise. And then I did a regular kind of lat raise. And I'm just using five pounds here again because we're going for a lot of volume and not a lot of weight. And then you want to lean back just a little bit and uh, do 10 more reps that way. And um, you just watch your form. You want to try not to bounce. I was pretty tired. During peak week, you're pretty tired, and so you're just trying to kind of get it done. So um, I did those, and then see, I'm wearing a little bit something different here because I decided to um, do a little bit more at night just because I was feeling pretty good and wanted to get a little bit of hamstring work in. So I take my stability ball, and I put my heels on it, and I do hamstring curls. You want to make sure that while you're, do while you're doing these, your butt is in the air, kind of like you're doing a butt bridge um, because otherwise you're – hamstrings aren't going to be activated like if your butt is just on the ground and you're pulling them in they're not going to activate as much as if you're keeping the your butt in the air and you're squeezing your glutes and your hamstrings while you pull it in with your heels the other thing about this is you might have to stop halfway through usually I have to but I thought I could just bang out these last reps but you can see how close my toe was getting um, to the end. And so usually I have to readjust my feet, but you want your calves to be on the ball too. And then I just tried this out. I had never done these before, but it ended up working out okay. So I just did some bridges with my feet on the stability ball and I did not touch my bottom to the ground every single time. I just kind of went so till it was like an inch above the ground and then just squeezed my glutes and my hamstrings just to activate those in there and get some extra hamstring work in. And they burned pretty good. I mean, it felt pretty good doing them. And uh, I liked it. Then I decided to do a little ab circuit. I put my feet up on the ball. Um, I don't really know why, just because I kind of had the stability ball around and I thought, why not? I will just put them on the ball. And when I do abs, I like to do, <laughs> hi Toby, I see you, 25, um, 25 at a time. I always work in numbers with abs. It just like makes me feel better than working with time. And so I always count to like 25 when I'm doing reps. Hopefully I'm actually doing 25 reps here. Um, so you guys can not tell me that I didn't do it right, <laughs> but I was pretty sure I did between 25 and 30. Some things I do a little bit over if I'm like alternating legs, sometimes I'll do 30. So it's really even, I don't know. I just like to count while I do abs. It makes it a little bit easier for me. Then I just put my legs straight up and I did toe touches, just alternating sides. These are really easy and self-explanatory. Just use your core to pull you up. Don't use your neck. That will never be good and will cause neck pain and can cause injuries and stuff. But these are really good for your obliques. And then I just kicked the ball out of the way, but it kept rolling back. So it was really hard all during these bicycle crunches. I kept having to kick the ball and then I get caught on it. Yep, go over there. ball. <laughs> it would have just been easier for me to get up and put it away, but I didn't do that because I don't know why. I just didn't feel like it apparently. 
Um, but yeah, I just did some bicycle crunches just for my obliques. And then um, I wanted to do a little bit of toning and shaping glute work, which I literally never, ever, ever do. Um, so this was kind of fun for me to do. I did 20 to 25 of everything, I believe. Um, and I'm just doing some straight leg kickbacks here. Nothing crazy or um, anything that you can't handle. And then just some fire hydrants. You can also throw in some donkey kicks in here. You guys probably know what those are. I didn't film any of them. I'm really sorry that I'm yawning right now. I didn't film any of them, but if you Google it, there will be tons of other videos for you guys to check out if you want to. Um, but I just did some fire hydrants, and then um, I did about 25 on each leg. I was going to show you the other side, and then I thought, why do you want to see the other side? Because it's the exact same thing that you just saw, and I think that'll be really boring. And then I just did some inner thigh leg lift so you just put your opposite leg over your working leg and then sit up on your elbow a little bit and then just move that activate that inner thigh squeeze it and move that leg up and down um, pretty easy pretty self-explanatory and then the last thing that I'm going to show you are just some stability ball rollouts these are just good for your abs they're super 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 hard it's kind of a modified version of doing an ab wheel but they feel really good and burn really good so that is going to be it for this peak week circuit I hope that you guys enjoyed it tomorrow's video is going to be a full day of eating peak week style so you get to see everything that I've been eating this week on my low carb days specifically but give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time bye